At six o'clock with the mask mandate now behind us, Governor Abbott has given Texans the choice about when and where to wear a mask. Some pediatricians, though, are telling parents don't throw away your child's face covering just yet. KETK's Frank Jefferson spoke with one doctor about what she says needs to be done to ensure the safety of our children. Frank. Casey, there are more than a thousand school districts here in our state serving about 5 million students. Now, the Texas Medical Association and the Texas Pediatric Society, they're urging educational leaders to minimize the spread of the virus as more students return to in-person learning. Now, when the Governor Abbott, when he lifted that mask mandate, the Texas Education Agency, they told school districts they have a choice to require masks or not to. Now, physicians say that PPE is the best def defense against another COVID outbreak, and teachers and staff members are now being vaccinated across our state. And those two groups, they want us to keep the CDC guidelines in place for K through 12th graders. And despite wanting to see the students masked up, the doctors also want to see children get back to the classroom. Tyler pediatrician Valerie Smith is one of the many doctors urging caution while acknowledging that learning in school improves mental and physical health for kids that they learn best in person, but also includes that many students rely on schools to provide nutritious meals for them, as well as the social supports they have from their friends at school, and then also social support services uh, that are provided at schools through counseling departments. Doctors also want to see social distancing and expose individuals to be quarantined and a lot of hand washing, just like in the beginning of the pandemic, and saying these little things will help keep schools open and give children a good chance of not getting COVID. Now, this upcoming week will be the first full week without a mask mandate in a very long time, and several East Texas school districts, they've ended their mask requirements, but most have left them in effect. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.